Hello everyone, uh, this week is already lecture two and now we are discussing about ethics and responsibility pertaining to public speaking as we prepare your speech. We were able to see uh, the seven basic principles of ethical public speaking, which are be honest, be open, be generous, be balanced, represent evidence responsibly, take appropriate risk and choose engagement. All of them sound pretty much like being in a relationship with somebody else. And that's what the lecture was saying that uh, giving a speech is like having a relationship with your, with your listeners, the audience. Um, I feel like you have to be saying something nice that they like and want to hear in order to get your point across. It has to be a balanced relationship. Um, not like sweet talking, but saying something that they like and then pushing something that you feel that's right. Uh, as I was uh, reading the lecture, then I was listening to my sister. Um, she was watching a video of a politician, uh, and the politician was giving a speech to the public, and I could hear the public cheering up, cheering, cheering, cheering up, because he was saying things that they want to hear, and then they keep quiet, and then he pushes his point, and then he says something that they like and want to hear, and everybody cheers up. I th that's that's what they're saying when they say that a uh, speech has to be balanced. It cannot be me, me, me. It has to be you, me, you, me. It's like a two-way street. Yeah, pretty much like being in a relationship. Uh, it has to be balanced and it has to be generous. Also, uh, one of the main ones that I think is a really important one is being honest. Because people are going to know when you are lying. Especially if there is no facts to back it up. That's what they're uh, referring when they say um, represent evidence responsibly. If uh, you want to push something that you agree with, you cannot be pushing only pros, 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 or cons, cons, cons. It has to be balanced so it makes sense and the public's believing what you're saying. Um, also, I think it's very interesting how they mention uh, the pointing fingers um, makes the public withdraw from uh, listening and they stop believing what you're saying. So I think this week's uh, was very important and I think we learned a lot. At least I did and I can't wait for next week's. See you later. <laughs>